We're about two weeks out from the release of 12.1. Dash got a lot of grassroots coverage in the media this week, and also it turned three years old. Happy third birthday, Dash Network. Hi, I'm Amanda B. Johnson, and you are watching Dash Detailed. Let's get started with Dash in the news, shall we? The Merkel mentioned Dash in an article entitled The Five Hottest Cryptocurrencies Right Now. YouTuber Tommy Economics published a video describing how his ideal cryptocurrency would look a lot like Dash. The Future Tech Podcast interviewed Node40's Perry Wooden about masternode maintenance. Dash's director of network operations, Jeff Smith, aka CoinGun, stepped into the toilet, literally, to give an interview to Bitcoin Uncensored. Omar Baum, the man who likes to talk crypto in his car, mentioned Dash in a recent episode of Let's Talk Crypto. BATT analyzed Dash price charts and movements quite thoroughly in this episode of Bitcoin and Altcoin Trading Talk. And YouTuber James Bond made this interesting and pony-filled Dash 3D graphic for his video where he gives Dash analysis and predictions. Did you know that there's a My Little Pony called Rainbow Dash? Now you do. Let's move to price movement. Dash's current price is in the neighborhood of 14 US dollars and 17 cents. This makes for a market capitalization of roughly $100 million, with a 24-hour trade volume of $2.6 million, and just over 7 million coins in existence. In our 7-day price chart, you'll see that today's market cap is almost identical to what it was 7 days ago. In the interim, there was this sort of price arc, as you see here, during which time Dash temporarily displaced Ethereum Classic for the number 6 spot in market cap rankings. Speaking of price fluctuations, community member Troy Dash recently brought this most excellent tool to my attention, which can be used by masternodes to see, in a glance, the current monthly payout as well as percentage of the network that they own per masternode. Now to business news. I almost dare not believe that it's so, but it appears that there is a comprehensive and detailed website listing all merchants that accept Dash worldwide. WeLoveDash.com currently lists 145 plus merchants, making them the single most comprehensive collection of Dash merchants on the internet. If your Dash accepting business is not listed on this website, the admins can be reached via their contact information or via the Dash Nation Slack. Just reach out to user Aristocrat. There's a new merchant accepting Dash by the name of Lane Ferm, which is a biodynamic farm in Provo, Utah, selling vegetables and herbs. And for the third month in a row, Purse.io reports that Dash is the top altcoin used to buy things from Amazon. Let's check out network statistics. Today's masternode count is 4,277. This is down 105 masternodes from last week's 4,382. Or, as was pointed out by some in the Dash Nation Slack, this means that masternode owners are now getting paid between 1 and 2% more frequently. With about 540 non-masternode full nodes open, we're left with a total of 4,820 full nodes on the network. And in mining, today's hash rate is 2.31 terahashes per second, which is down slightly from a new all-time high that was reached a few days ago of 2.36. And speaking of mining, some have also been asking in the Slack about purchasing their own mining units. Thanks to the assistance given them by both Oaxaca and Macrochip, you see that there's a nifty profit calculator on Coin Wars that you can use with your individual electricity setup to see if mining would or would not be profitable for you. If indeed it is, Dash ASICs are sold from Pinidea, Baikal, and IB Link. And the next Dash Superblock, that is Treasury Payday, is in eight days. So if you have a masternode and you intend to vote, you'll want to get those in shortly. Now to social happenings. Dash now has a presence on Pinterest. Yes, you heard me right, Pinterest. While Luddites such as myself thought the site was primarily for recipes, pictures of wedding dresses, and arts and crafts tutorials, cryptocurrency is now representing. Dash also has a Telegram news bot if you use Telegram and would like to subscribe to that news bot. These handsome gents met up in Cancun, Mexico at the weekly Dash-sponsored Bitcooners meetup. 
The meetup is organized by Dash community member JZA. And the first Dash meetup has taken place in Russia, hosted by community member Miliarderko in the city Krasnodar. Miliarderko reports that 15 people showed up, and of them, six knew nothing about cryptocurrency. The Crypto Show, continuing its sponsorship from Dash, has released this video of them helping prepare meals for the homeless with the project Unsung. This video, also by YouTuber Crypto, shows Jeff Smith, aka CoinGun, giving an exemplary explanation of Dash to a newcomer. The explanation took place at the North American Bitcoin Conference, where the same YouTuber also recorded and published Ryan Taylor, Director of Finance at Dash, giving his presentation. This presentation was so popular that a bounty was created for it to be remade with improved audio, and that has been done. And we have ourselves a comment of the week. Yes. It's from Chris Muller, and he said on YouTube, I think Dash has already become an unstoppable feedback loop. I'm beginning to sense the birth of a cryptocurrency juggernaut. A cryptocurrency juggernaut. Take that to the Dash bank that you are. And finally, current opportunities. The Dash Force is holding a meetup contest. This means that if you're willing to agree to a few parameters, such as purchasing refreshments and then giving your attendees Dash with which to buy those refreshments from you, you can get paid around $110 in Dash for holding a meetup. Doesn't matter where you live, doesn't matter who you are, all are qualified to apply. And that's it for Dash Detailed this week. Special thanks and props to Alex RU, whose beautiful Dash graphics we make use of frequently. You can find his gallery of free-to-use images yourself in the links in the description below. That's it, everyone. See you next Wednesday.